Yesterday, BMW unveiled an electric motorcycle concept for the first time, the Vision DC Roadster. Edgar Heinrich, head of design at BMW, said of the concept, The Vision bike shows how we're able to retain the identity and iconic appearance of BMW Motorrad in distinctive form while at the same time presenting an exciting new type of riding pleasure. So the whole point of this bike is to show what BMW could do with an electric motorcycle while still keeping some of the defining characteristics that their bikes are known and loved for. Their Boxer Twin is a truly iconic motorcycle engine that's endured for almost a century now. So in an attempt to echo its shape and functionality, the gap it would leave has been filled with a vertically fitted battery and two cooling elements protrude from the sides. These use cooling fins and vents so not only look like the cylinder heads of a Boxer motor, but also function in the same way by making the most of the flowing air to keep temperatures low. It's not just the motor that references BMW's past, the Vision DC also uses a shaft drive which has been present on the majority of BMW bikes up until now. A cylindrical electric motor connects directly to the shaft and it uses an exposed design which gives it a more modern look. The Vision DC also uses duo lever suspension at the front which you might have seen before on some of BMW's K-series bikes. Duo lever forks are designed to limit dive under braking as well as resist torsion which stops them from twisting whilst turning. Elsewhere on the concept, carbon and aluminium are used to keep weight down which will help to compensate for the battery. But despite these performance focus features, the bike is still ultimately a concept. The seating position looks too uncomfortable to ever be a production bike and we're still missing lots of features like indicators, mirrors, license plate that would be required to put a bike like this on sale. But it still shows the direction that BMW might be moving in, embracing new technology while still acknowledging their past. It'd be easy to assume that BMW fans are traditionalists given that they stuck with an age-old formula for some time, and bikers in general could be perceived to be petrol heads. But at the time of writing, the comments on their YouTube video that was published to promote the concept bike are generally positive. The only common complaint I've seen is towards the hyper-modern design, with some commenters saying that they'd prefer a bike like the R9T, but with an electric motor transplanted directly in. Although it might sound counterintuitive to want the latest tech with an old school aesthetic, it's something I've thought about before too. When I tested the Zero DSR recently, the looks weren't to my taste because I tend to favour the more classic lines of a bike like my Bonneville. At the Bike Shed show this year, it was great to see that they had a dedicated room for electric bikes, and one that caught my eye was the Vatis EV Twin, which originated from the founder, Steve Smith, putting an electric motor in a 1953 BSA Bantam frame. He actually captains yachts for a living, so he needed something that could be easily lifted on and off the boat in order to zip around on shore. The production model, although not priced for the general market at £40,000, does a great job of making the electric motor look like a V-twin and keeps the overall look of the bike classic. Personally, I'd love to see something like this for the masses rather than the angular plastic designs that seem to be the norm for electric motorcycles. What do you guys think? Should bike manufacturers go ultra modern like the Vision DC Roadster? It is a modern bike underneath after all. Or would you like to see something more classic looking? BMW is clearly trying to bring some of their heritage along with them. So should they just fully embrace their past with an electric R-series bike? Let me know what you think. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll catch you next time.